belly rattle. Get my independent sign, declare it on the dotted line. Let Philadelphia freedom ring and patriotic voices sing. Red, white, blue, never give up. You represent America. Hoping and praying for a brighter day. I listen to my heart and I obey. How can I see it any other way? I'm looking at my Here are some exciting scenes from today's episode of Liberty's Kids. You've still had no word from your brother? The British promised him his freedom when he escaped to join their army. Now that they've lost the war, the moment my brother's found, he'll be returned to slavery, if he's still alive. Instead of helping me, you make me sell my farm to pay my debts. We were soldiers fighting for your freedom. Mother, I can scarcely believe the war's been over for nearly three years. But peace has not come easily for all. I'm on my way to New York now, where I will report on the conditions of the Loyalists, those people who remained faithful to England during the Revolution. To do so, I will renew my acquaintance with your friend, Mrs. Radcliffe. She was such a kind hostess to James and me, nearly ten years ago, back in 76. To think how very much has changed since then. It is indeed a most entrancing work. You must give King Louis my deepest thanks for the privilege of entering his private gallery. Congress grants me permission to return to the United States. After all these years, I'm going home. I can barely begin to imagine what awaits me there. What's become of the average continental soldier? The merchant who left his shop? The farmer who left his field? The brave men who marched away from everything they held dear to fight with George Washington for their country and have survived to taste the fruits of their courage. What better place to learn what's happened to the soldiers after the war than in Massachusetts, the cradle of our revolution? So, James, you want to know what it's like for us Continental soldiers now that we've come home? Yes, Captain Chase. Well, come on. I'll show you. Where are we going? To court. Court? <laughs> Moses. Monsieur le Marquis. It is such a pleasure to embrace a good friend in a free United States. Forgive me. I look forward to the day all in this country will be free. 
You've still had no word from your brother? For two years I searched for him. The closest I got was finding this in Richmond, Virginia. It's from his owner. If you see him, please return Cato, who was seen skulking around this neighborhood. He is my lawful property. Moses, it is an outrage! Yes. The British promised him his freedom when he escaped to join their army. Now that they've lost the war, the moment my brother's found, he'll be returned to slavery. If he's still alive. Either way, my friend, I will never see Cato again. Oh, that was close! Oh, they wouldn't let me go. Everyone wanted to talk to me. And why was that, Henri? They all wanted to know what it's like to be the son of the great Lafayette. Oh. Later, later. The Marquis wishes some privacy. Shoo, shoo! Oh. That's it. Merci. Au revoir. Well, what's to eat? Henri! It's all right, mon ami. Tell me, what will you do now? Will you continue with Dr. Franklin's Gazette? No, Marquis. I have other plans. I've been blessed with learning. Many others have not. I would like to share my blessing with as many of them as I can. I plan to start a school for Negro children. Boys and girls, both. And you, Marquis? I will visit General Washington at Mount Vernon. Then I shall return to France. There I will build support for the United States and work to abolish slavery in France's colonies. I shall miss all of you very, very much. <gasps> Henri? Not as much, I'm afraid, as Henri will miss you. You're throwing me in jail because I can't pay my debts? I borrowed that money I owe because the government asked me to, so I could buy more grain to grow more food for our army and the French army. Ah! Take your hands off me, sir. And now that there's no more soldiers to feed, I can't sell my produce. And instead of helping me who helped you, you make me sell my farm to pay my debts. Oh, that's not oh, that's not right. And when the money from the sale doesn't cover my debts, you throw me in a cage! Me and darn near every other oh. farmer in Massachusetts! We were soldiers! We risked our lives fighting for your freedom! Oh, this is not just We fought Let for this go. country! Oh, it was back our farm! Order! Order! Let him go! We won't stand for this! These, James, are what you describe as the fruits of the Continental Soldier's courage. Let me go! It's not fair! I fought for you! What's happened to New York is tragic. Please be all right, Mrs. Radcliffe. Mrs. Radcliffe! I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, well, I am alive. I'm grateful for that, I suppose. Perhaps Nova Scotia won't be all that bad. You're going to Canada? Come, Sarah. Let us go where we can have privacy, for a few minutes anyway. Take a look, my dear, while you still can. 
They're taking my house. The Americans. And I had to sell my jewelry to pay for the war, they said. Just as I'm selling everything else before I journey to Canada, all I wanted to do was live my life in peace as a loyal British subject. Oh, Mrs. Radcliffe. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> The horror of it all. Who's there? Is anyone there? Yes, Moses. Cato! Sit down, Cato. You'll be safe here. I doubt anyone will be looking in here, but I want to be sure. This is Ben Franklin's laboratory? It is. Cato, I searched for you. How did you get here? Where have you been? My brother, I've been everywhere. Tell me. I saw you at Yorktown when the British forced you out into no man's land. Moses, an amazing thing happened to me at Yorktown. General Clinton, we no longer have enough food or water to sustain all our men. I'm afraid our Negro soldiers will have to fend for themselves. No! It's too dangerous! Do not send them out of the fortifications! We risked our lives for the British! You promised us our freedom! Come here! Here! Come! I'm going to help you! I'll hide you! Hurry! Trust me! Since then, more white people have helped me remain free. They're not all bad. Moses, I can't explain it, but knowing that, it's like a weight's been lifted off my soul. It's only me. It's a petition, William. It asks the state of Massachusetts to stop selling our farms and throwing us in prison for debt. To show some appreciation and understanding of what we sacrificed to help win the war. Enough of us sign this thing. Maybe the government will start to listen to us. This is amazing, Daniel. It's democracy in action. Yes, James. This is what I fought for in General Washington's army. I'm not surprised by my poor treatment at the hands of the Americans. I am, however, shocked at the wretched behavior of my own mother, England. What has England done? Very little. They've given us a few shillings. Would you like to see what else they've given us? I would. Open those boxes behind me. A hat? Heavy clothes for the horrible Nova Scotia climate. Open the other one. 
What's this? It's called a pitchfork. There are other farm supplies too. Tell me, Sarah, what is a woman like me going to do with farm supplies? I... I... While you have a pencil, do write King George a thank you note from me. Some black people are even going back to Africa. It's hard enough to get you across the street without getting caught, much less all the way to Africa. More going up to Nova Scotia. Lots of British, too. That letter from Sarah, her friend. Hurry! And the state's answer to our honest petition is silence. Or just about. This won't stand! We must act! If the courts mean to take away our farms and throw us in jail, maybe we have to close down the courts any way we can. We'll take our freedom down with the courts! We'll fight if we have to! Wait! Wait a minute, everyone! Fighting your own government? Has it really come to that? I'm afraid it has, James. We owe it to ourselves. And yes, we owe it to our country! Yeah! Oh, 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 <laughs> We're almost to New York City. Come on out. Remember, my papers prove I'm a free man. If anyone questions us, do as I do. Act confident. Brother, I'll act like a rooster if that's what it takes to be free. You. Huh. Wait, come back. Oh. But Sarah, I don't even know this man. Mrs. Radcliffe, he's a farmer. He'll help you survive in Canada. All you have to do is hide him on your way up there. Ma'am, my brother will clear you the finest farm in Nova Scotia. How do I know he won't disappear the moment we reach Canada? Because he says he won't. He's my brother, and I promise he... Excuse me. Ma'am, powers beyond our control are forcing both of us to start our lives all over. I'd like to help you start your new life, if you'll help me start mine. It was easier saying goodbye this time. Why is that? Because this time, he's going off to freedom. Henri, stop! Henri, I hope you are in here and can hear me. It caused me great pain to say goodbye to George Washington. I do not want you to feel that kind of pain. I want to take you to France. You can live with me there and help me tell the world of this amazing new thing called Liberty. <laughs> Thank you for chasing me! Apples? Get your apples here! Just clean streets, merchants, new homes... Newspapers! Newspapers! And look at all these newspapers! Here you go. Children, New York City is coming back strong! I've been thinking. Maybe I could run my own newspaper someday. I could help keep our government honest. Like your article about the Massachusetts farmers. 
Maybe it will urge the government to help them before there's any violence. Defending freedom of the press is a fine goal, James. The fight for freedom never ends. Sarah, could I borrow some money to buy a newspaper? But Moses just bought one. No, I mean to buy a newspaper. <laughs> oh, James. Dr. Franklin, good to have you back home. <laughs> Dr. Franklin, I don't think I've ever seen a more joyous day. My dear, I believe you're right. 